Hey everyone and welcome back to Six Ashes and a long awaited return of this Let's Play series. We are just on our way up to the store and our crops are ready to harvest so we need to go and buy our combine and we also need to get a baler so we can bale up the straw. So that's going to be our main job for today is getting our two fields of canola harvested and also our field of barley and get the straw baled up. So I've got the, the Brogan flatbed trailer hooked up to the back of the tractor. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to sell this trailer and buy a slightly smaller and cheaper trailer to replace it. Just I think this one's a little bit on the large side for this tractor and I think if we fully loaded up with bales or anything it'd be a bit of a struggle to pull. So we'll just park up here and put the handbrake on. Turn the engine off for a minute. So yeah, apologies, it's been a while since the previous episode of this series. Uh, it kind of got difficult to uh, record the videos. So what we need to do is disconnect. Can we... Uh, uh, manual attach is uh, playing up. Why is that not... some reason I can't disconnect the trailer okay anyway yeah uh, where was I what, what? okay so we're having a few issues with oh, there we go right so we're gonna sell this it's 14,060 pound we'll get back for that and then we'll say we'll buy a new one yeah so it kind of got difficult to find the time to sit down and record without any background distractions noise and things so this series kind of got put on hold a lot longer than I would have uh, liked so the combine we're gonna get is and we're gonna go with the class dominator or the class mega 208 uh, we'll keep everything else as standard just to save a bit of money apart from the attacher for a trailer hitch which could be useful so 60,700 for that and we're going to need a header uh, headers where are we there we are I should know that I've 5,000 hours on this game I should know instantly where headers are so we want the cutting unit uh, we're going to go with the 510 um, just to make things a little bit easier we can then always upgrade to the 600 at some point I don't think our the 208 quite has the power for the 600 especially on the hill of field 77 so we'll keep it the 510 attaches we can put the rapeseed module um, attachment on which is an extra 1500 and then I think the other attachment is another 8000 uh, you don't need it for doing canola I think it's obviously more realistic but it, this header does work on its own without the uh, rapeseed module so we'll save a bit of money and go without so yeah that would be the uh, the add-on you attach that to that header but you need to make sure you've got the option selected for it otherwise it won't connect and um, so we also gonna need a header trailer so we've got the this one is the one we want so we want the 510 we'll keep it on right not sure with our fields and our entrances access if which way around would be better so we'll just keep it right for now we can always change it again if we need to so we'll buy that and then we also need a grain trailer which there is a nice fairly cheap one one of the Marston Ace we'll go with the 1984 as it's a little bit cheaper it's only 14,500 capacity but that's more than enough for what we need at the moment and we can upgrade later if need be so we'll buy that one and then we need the new bale trailer uh, which have a look under baling technology 
I will buy the baler as well while we're here, which we're going to get the class 250 roto cut. Again, we'll keep everything standard just for now. And uh, bale trailer, we're going to go with the 22 foot bale trailer 1993 Marston. And again, we'll just keep everything actually. We'll go with the rear. Old guard as well. Do we need? No, actually, we'll we'll keep it without because it's an extra thousand for that. So that's four and a half thousand for that. And I think that is everything we need. Hopefully, it's all spawned because the spawn area at the shop is not very big. Uh, which I found out on some contracts where uh, not all the equipment spawns. So we've got the class mega two hundred eight. Combine, we have a 5.1 meter header, header trailer, grain trailer, class baler, and then the bale trailer. So, yep, yeah, we've got everything. So, what we're going to do first is fields 77 78, which are our canola. Let's just turn the handbrake off. So, what I'm going to do is I'll get all this over to the the field and we can make a start on harvesting okay so we're just coming up to field 77 and 78 where our canola is so we just need to pull into this entrance here and wait for a gap in the traffic so in between the previous episodes um, I did do a baling contract on field 66. I was going to uh, leave the contract open and collect the money at the start of this episode, but unfortunately when I reloaded into the game, the contract had disappeared, so I had to add the money in for the easy development controls. One other issue I had was the, uh, the map. Since I'd done the previous episode I knew the map had had a update um, but when I went onto the mod hub it wasn't showing the map needed updating so it was kind of like a different version of the map on mod hub to what I had originally so I had to change the save game over to the new map version that is the current one on mod hub uh, but fortunately in doing that I all the fields got messed up a little bit so what I had to do was go around each field even the ones I don't own and reset them because the ground texture was just showing up as grass um, the crop was still showing but the, the actual ground texture was showing as grass underneath and it wasn't registering what was in the field or anything like that so I had to go around with the easy development control and reset all of that so let's just lift up that header. We want to unfold the combine. I am also now using my steering wheel and side tech side panel. So apologies if it's uh, a little bit slow on getting things in. I'm still trying to get used to the controls on the side panel. Right, so we need to uh, switch to that. And Right. So which that's fold combine. Why is the Oh yes, that would help. That's one other thing. Because I'm using mods that I don't use very often. I forgot the PTO on the uh the header. That'll be why I can't start it. There we go, that's better. Yeah, trying to remember some of the mods I don't use very often on the time lapses for different reasons. So yet yeah, now we can get started on our first harvest of our own fields here on Six Ashes. I don't think we've, apart from the baling contracts, I don't think we did any harvesting contracts. I can't remember. Should have gone back and watched the previous episode to see. Uh, I say it's been that long. I can't remember what we actually did in the previous episode. So I hope everyone is doing well. 
I know it's been a tough 12, 18 months for a lot of people. Uh, I'm fortunate with the work I do that I've managed to avoid the worst of the worst of what's been happening. So no complaints from me about that. Um, but yeah, I know some people have been through a rough times. So hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying strong and staying safe as well. And hopefully it will all soon be. I say back to normal, but I don't think ever, things will ever completely be back to normal. But yeah, let's hope they uh, improve anyway. So we'll raise the header and go back round. So for those who keep up to date with the community posts on my uh, channel, I did post one recently that I was making changes to my setup. Uh, I am planning on doing a setup tool video. I've not quite finished um, as yet. It's taken me quite a bit longer than I would have liked to get it all sorted. So I've still got a few things to connect up and put in position and then sort all the cables out and stuff like that. And then there will be a, a new setup tool video. Uh, just going over the, the new setup, uh, the changes I've made and why I've made the changes. Uh, mostly, well, one of the big reasons was to give me a little bit more space and also so I can get my wheel and the side panel set up so I can use it all the time then I can do editing the videos uh, without having to move the steering wheel which was one of the reasons why I didn't use the wheel very often was that fact that even though I had it on a stand that folded up out of the way it was still a hassle to unplug everything fold up the stand, uh, move the stand out of the way just to edit the video and then I have to set it all back up for the next video so it's kind of a bit of a pain so I ended up not using it so the big reason for changing the setup was so I can keep the wheel pedals and side panel permanently set up and then I've now got a separate area where I can do the editing so I don't have to keep moving the wheel. So, yeah, as I mentioned, I'll, I'll have a new setup tool video. Uh, hopefully, within the next week, uh, hopefully this weekend I can get the rest of it all finished off and get everything set up so we can get that done. just come to the end of the third pass around the headlands so what we'll do is while we're down here next to the tractor we'll get get the combine unloaded and then we can continue off with the rest of the field uh, the yield on this field unfortunately is a little bit lower than it should be that's due to the fact that when I had to reset the field for the uh, problem I was having. Just get that cover off. The um, easy development controls, um, unfortunately, when you reset the fields, it only does 50% of the fertilizer with seasons. So you set it to 100% on the field info thing, uh, but it only adds 66% because of seasons having the extra fertilization layer so all the fields are only 50 percent well 66 percent uh, rather than the 100 percent so the yield is a little bit less than what it should be which 
is a little bit disappointing, especially when we put all that that work into making sure that was fully fertilised. So what we'll do now is we'll just cut across the field. So we bring up the, the map so we can see the degrees. Now this field isn't like 290 degrees so we cut across slightly at an angle so 338 degrees. So let's get that header turn back on and load down. And now all we use is just the mini map. We'll try and keep it to about 338 degrees as best as we can as we just make the first cut across the field. So not perfect but an easy way to keep relatively straight if you don't have GPS which I think I mentioned in one of the previous videos. So we can turn that off, lift the header up and then turn around now I'm still getting used to the, uh, the settings on the steering wheel as well with the uh, sensitivities and degrees of rotation so I'm still playing around with those trying to dial in the settings for my likings so I think the brake sensitivity is a little bit low <laughs> because of the time where it, the brakes don't seem to work you have to put so much pressure on it, it actually pushes me back in my seat. So I need to try and look at that, uh, sorting that out. Now what we'll do, we'll go up to the top and then work our way back down taking cuts across the field. So last little bit of the canola in field 77 and then what we've got to do is do field 78 which I'll get done get the canola back down to the farm and put it into our grain storage and then we can head over to field 47 I think have I remembered that correctly yeah, field 47 which has got our barley in we can get that harvested and get all the straw bales up and try and get all the bales back to the yard so that one tiny little bit that we missed I'll get this unloaded and I'll get field 78 done I do have two contracts for one for barley one for canola as well uh, which probably won't get done during this episode so I might have to do those off camera now, so what I'll do is I'll get field 78 done I'll get all the canola back to the yard and we'll head over to field 47 and start on the barley Okay, so we're just coming up to field 47 to make a start on harvesting our barley. Just dropped off the last load of canola. And in total, we've got 17,022 litres. So not a huge amount, uh, but it is enough to 
get us started and we should be able to get some pigs very soon. As I mentioned, I do have the two contracts as well for harvesting canola and barley, which I'll probably do at the end of this episode. Um, uh, I doubt we'll get time to do it today. So what we need to do now is start harvesting our barley. We'll get this started up. Straw swath should be on. So we can get some straw. There we go. Yep, so with the return of the Let's Play videos, I will be hoping that I can keep up with them, which I should be able to now. Uh, all being said anyway, so there will be a slight change in the schedule for the channel. Uh, currently it was no video Mondays and then Tuesday, Wednesday, no man's land. Thursday, Friday was Ravensburg and Saturday, Sunday, Crater Lake. So there will be a slight change to that uh, with the introduction of, or reintroduction of the uh, Let's Play. So the, the plan for the schedule from now on will be six ashes on Mondays and Tuesdays, No Man's Land on Wednesday, so it'll just be one episode of No Man's Land each week until it finishes, which will be in a few weeks time. I think there's about five, six episodes left. And then the rest of the week will be as is now, so Ravensburg Thursday, Friday, and then Crater Lake Saturday, Sunday. So once I have finished on No Man's Land, I will then decide what to do with that extra day, whether to do a third episode on one of the current series, so it'll either be then three episodes on Six Ashes, Ravensburg or Crater Lake. And I'm going to continue with that up until the release of FS22. So I won't be starting any new series. I don't think there's much point. We are about 17, 16, 17 weeks till the release of FS22. So trying to fit another new series into the schedules just gonna be a bit tricky I just won't get enough episodes done in that time to really make it worth doing and then the plan when FS22 comes out will be to have a let's play running on one of the maps so either the US or European map and then the time-lapse series will be on uh, whichever one I don't do for the let's play and then once a, a, a good mod map comes out then we'll add a third series to the uh, schedule which will be another time lapse and then there'll be two episodes at least on each series and then three on one I am also considering possibly by then as well that I'm going to try and do a live stream and see how that goes uh, which will be once a week and if I do start doing that then there won't be a video and a live stream on the same day so it'll just be the live stream so then six videos and one live stream so I'm going to try and look to get that sorted over the next few weeks get everything set up it's been a, a long time since I've used OBS uh, and done any actual live streaming on YouTube and I've never live streamed a game or like gameplay on YouTube so I need to go through all the settings and get all that figured out so again hopefully that's something I can do over the next few weeks get that sorted out and then I'll do a few streams on one of the maps or yeah I'm not sure yet whether I'll just do a uh, some video some live streams on one of the current series or on a different map uh, just for something a bit different to see how it goes uh, one thing I'm not keen on is 
when you're watching a Let's Play series on a game and then they, they've done a live stream and you've missed quite a lot from, from the live stream because yeah, I'm not big on watching live streams that much so it's kind of hard when you start watching your Let's Play and <laughs> it's like oh yeah we did this this and this in the live stream and then you missed it kind of uh, sucks a little bit but yeah we'll see so let me know what your thoughts are on that on the change of the schedule and the possibility of live streaming as well uh, now I've got a new contract on my internet uh, which is one of the big reasons why I've been unable to do let's plays and um, not so much let's plays but more uh, positive live streams or multiplayer was that I was on a limited internet connection so I had a limited data usage each month which only just about gave me enough to get the videos as uh, one of the reasons why I had to go down to six videos a, a week rather than seven was I was always getting too close to my data limit and often I was running out Well, I am now fortunately on a unlimited data, so that's not an issue now. The same with the file sizes on the videos. Uh, I can now do the Let's Play videos because they've been a little bit longer. File sizes were a lot bigger. I had to do them in a much lower bit rate, so I can do those in a higher bit rate and at 4K now, and don't have to worry about data usage. So we'll keep going until we've filled the combine and we'll get the tractor over to unload. Uh, what I probably will do with this is once we've opened up the field with the uh, three passes on the headlands, I'll switch over to a worker while we go and pick up the baler from the store and then we can start baling up the straw. So we should just about make it to the end of this pass. And then part way down. That's 98. I don't think we'll get to the other end. Not 99. And there's a hundred, so we'll just jump out and we'll go and grab the Ford. So let's get the engine started, handbrake off. I will get this unloaded as I said, I'll then I'll finish off the the pass the last run down this side and then across the bottom of the field get a work started then we'll go and get the baler and we can start getting this straw baled up ok so we just picked up the baler from the store I've uh, got our workers now work in the middle of the field So we'll start bailing up the straw while they finish off. Possibly have to get them unloaded and then switch them over to the, the other bit. So if we get the baler unfolded, that's switched on and load down. I am doing 8,000 litre bales with a variable bale capacity mod. A simple fact I much prefer having half the amount of bales to move. I, I don't. I actually enjoy stacking and moving bales, but yeah, it does take a while. And the end of the day, it is a game, and I don't want to spend most of the time playing just picking up and moving bales. Um, so if you can halve that, then why not? I did have someone comment on uh, one of the videos. I can't remember which one. It was one of the time lapse videos where I 
stacking the bales and they're saying I was cheating because I was using uh, large capacity bales. I don't see it as cheating. If it was excessive, like 50, 60,000 litre bales plus, then yeah, I think that's a little bit much, but 8,000 litres, I think that's up to 10,000 litres, I think is is okay. It's you're still doing the work, you're still going around the field baling, you're still picking up the bales, collecting them, loading them on the trailer. So I don't see that much of an issue, but yeah, when you're talking like ridiculous capacities of bales, then yeah, I think that's a little bit too extreme. So what I want to try and do is make sure we don't drop any bales where the combine needs to go, otherwise it'll stop the worker. So as I mentioned earlier, we are now, I think say about 17, 18 weeks till the release of FS22. So what are your thoughts on what we've seen so far uh, with the production chains, the new crop type being grapes uh, and sorghum? Obviously they've got well, they will have a use other than just being harvested and sold with the uh, the addition of the new like, factories and like production chains so you can make grape juice, uh, wheat, uh, so you can, I think it's a bakery so you can do bread or cakes or whatever it is. Um, I kind of like the fact that they've added some new features I know it's nothing new new because pretty much everything's been available as mods um, which I think there's probably not much that hasn't been made into a mod at some point so it's very difficult for them to do something completely uniquely new to the game um, which I think a lot of people have been a bit disappointed about that it's not something that's not been seen before Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm kind of not 100% on the production chains. I like the fact that they've added them as a feature. And um, by the sounds of it, it's, it is a completely optional thing whether you choose to do them or not. Uh, my big problem with a lot of the production mods is that they end up just becoming too much about moving pallets physics on pallets are not great in the game anyway uh, I find moving, stacking, loading pallets quite frustrating and then when some of these production mods that you get they are ridiculously heavy on having to keep up with moving pallets to make it worth doing uh, so a lot of time I end up putting the buildings in but then just kind of leaving them simply because of that fact that it just takes too much time up to keep on top of moving the pallets uh, loading them up to transport them and that so I'm hoping that it works in a way that it won't become a pallet moving simulator if you choose to go down doing all of the different production lines uh, but I do like it's going to be an option with the base game from the start uh, it's a bit like with the pallets for war one of the big things I'd disliked about 19 was the fact that they reduced the wall pallets from 2000 to 1000 and then they put a tiny ridiculous spawn area on the the initial uh, sheep pastures that were in game so I think there was only like four pallets and you had to move them which was a pain because you have to keep moving the pallets every so often so thank you thankfully there's some mods now that obviously you can get variable capacities for the wall. I would have much preferred if they'd have stuck with 2000 litre pallets and then just reduced the, uh, the rate at which they fill so you're not come to move pallets as often. So we need to get the combine unloaded so we'll just stop that there. Get this unloaded. 
and then we'll set the worker off on the last bit of the field. So I'm not sure how much. I've got one full load in the trailer, so seven and a half thousand litres. So this should fill the trailer. Oh, very close. So yeah, let me know in the um, in the comments what your thoughts are of FS22. Have you liked what we've seen so far? Some of the screenshots. I farmcom is is it this weekend? I think it's possibly this weekend when we'll get to see some first actual gameplay footage. So so far we've only seen screenshots and the cinematic trailers. So yeah, that would be worthwhile watching to see some actual uh, gameplay footage. Obviously it's still in production so subject to change. But I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing more about the new features and uh, seasons. So they've obviously got a version of seasons in the base game now. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how that's going to function. I presume it's going to be a fairly basic version of seasons. Uh, but I do like the fact that they have made that so it is optional as well. So you know you can just have the game as normal if you you wish. So you're not forced to use seasons because I know a lot of people don't like it. But I think it's one of those things as well with probably a more basic version of seasons. More people may play with it on. So I think sometimes seasons can be a bit much, it can slow progress down quite a bit. And also you've got the added fact of the, the extra work and time it takes to tend to the animals, like having to top up their feed every two in-game days rather than ten days with the uh, standard game, which is one of the one of the things I don't like about the 19 version of seasons was the uh, reduction in the days for animal feed i know it's more realistic um, in the real world you probably f feed your animals every day rather than every other day but it's that thing as a uh, content creator <laughs> and doing series with seasons especially when you have to skip a few days because there's not nothing to do for a video but you have to keep going around make sure the animals are well fed and we've got water that's what kind of yeah gets me a little bit because it takes so much of my time away from recording where i have to skip through days just trying to keep up on top of uh, feeding the animals and that so hopefully they've got more of a uh, seasons but with a standard feed period like you can still do five six days worth of feed um, I'll be happy then uh, we've we'll got our workers stopped because there's a bale in the way I'll we'll have to go and nudge that out of the way uh, we'll get this get this all finished off and we'll need to go get everything back to the yard, get the front loader hooked up and our bale spike on so we can then... Yeah, the workers drove over the bale instead of stopping so I'm going to have to become Superman for a brief second and also the workers decided to crash into the bale and then run off Let's we'll get this reset and we'll uh, finish off this straw. Uh, so as I mentioned when we bought the header trailer about the handed side for the header trailer, this field could have benefited from the left hand version. It would have been a lot easier to get the header in, into the field in a better position to lift it off the trailer than the right hand one 
Although I did manage it reasonably well without causing too much crop destruction. So let's get this straw finished off and our barley harvest. So that will be the last straw bale unloaded. There won't be enough straw left for another bale. We'll get that switched off and we can get that folded up. So we've got one full trailer load and then we've got what's left in the combine which is another 2,425 litres. So I think that's going to be just a little bit more than the canola. So I think we can squeeze a little bit left in here. Not much. Alright, so what we need to do is get everything back down to the farm. So I'll get all this back down to the yard, get it all put away out the way, and then we'll get the front loader on. Head up to the store to pick up the new bale trailer and we can get the bales loaded up so in total we got eight bales I think wrong one yeah so eight eight bales in total so that should give us a little bit for some bedding for the pigs which we'll be getting very soon so yeah I'll get everything back down to the yard get all that sorted and put away and then we'll get these uh, straw bales loaded up. Well, I've taken the combine over to field 37 for the contract that we've got on there which I'll do uh, after I finish this one before the next episode. So that's ready to go over there so we've got the last of the barley out of the combine which is the last 2378 litres. So we're gonna get this into our grain store. I'll see if I can uh, do th do this reversing. It's yeah, it's not an easy uh, place to reverse into. Um, one of the things I did because of the resetting the uh, the fields with the crop. The um, uh, this this field with the corners reset, so it's uh, we did lose a little bit of the field that has now um, come back a bit. So we'll try to do this without losing any of the uh, the corn. Uh, for some reason, using the steering wheel and reversing, my brain kind of just gets confused of which direction to actually turn the wheel. <laughs> I'm sure the more we do it, the more we get used to it. So we want to go in this end bay. All right, let's just uh, spin around the other way. And straighten up a little bit. Oh, you're gonna fit in. Not quite. Wrong way. Now I'm sure I'll uh, get the hang of this over time. Yes, I don't know why I find it so difficult at the moment. I just find it so easy with the Xbox controller to reverse and steer. It's like learning to drive all over again. Sort of in. Let's just get in a little bit more, otherwise, we're gonna struggle to tip. There we go. Uh, not very, not, not brilliant, but not bad either. Could have been worse. So, we'll get that unloaded. So, that's gonna take us up to just below 17,000. 
Let's have a look. So we have, we just about see on display, 16,877 litres of barley. We'll have a little bit more from the two contracts when I've done those, so I'll keep the excess uh, when we uh, do the harvest. So we'll just get the money for the actual contract, which is not a huge amount. I think it's only a few thousand. So we'll get that door closed. So one of the mods that's been released since the previous episode is the map object hider. Unfortunately it's only available on PC but we can now get rid of this tree that I couldn't get rid of before that was clipping into the building. So fantastic mod. Apologies I can't remember who the mod was by. It's been so long since I downloaded it. But we could literally get rid of this wall if we wanted to just been hit, hidden H. And then we can hide that wall. Not the one who because the pigs will be able to escape. <laughs> but they it's a fantastic mod, really really do think it's one of the one of the best mods that's um, been released for 19. Absolutely fantastic. And I kind of overlooked it when it was first released because I, I kind of didn't fully read the description and I thought it meant um, hiding objects on the map as in like this map so you could hide objects on here. <laughs> until I fully read the description I didn't realise fully what it was when it meant map object hider so yeah that is on the the official mod hub to download if you want to get that I say fantastic mod really worth getting if you want to make changes to your farmyard so what we'll do we'll put this in the manure pit here for now just out of the way and we'll get the front loader attached and then we'll we'll head up to the store to pick up the bale trailer but we'll head via the animal livestock market because we've got a few silage bales there that are ready to be sold so we'll get those sold while we're up there with the front loader on okay so I'm not sure how many silage bales we actually have I'm not sure if the ones off field 66 I did for the contract already so I'll just have to check first I think there was about eight bales from that contract so yeah, they're still grass. So they're the ones I did on field 66. So these ones should be ready then. Yeah, these ones silage. So these are all the, the ones left over from the other contract. It seems like an awful, awful lot, but they are 4,000 where I did 8,000 on the other contract. Right, so let's get these sold. This will give us a little bit of extra money for uh, expanding our farm, and buying some new equipment. Uh, what I should have done was got the uh, yeah the weight. I forgot the weight for the back because we're not going to be able to pick up all these bales. I think two bales at a time is probably all we're going to manage to do. Three was a little bit too much. Right, final two bales to sell. So we're up to 41,404, so this will take us up to around about 42 and a 43,000. There we go. Um, so that's 42,766, and what I'm going to do is, before I forget, while we've got the money, we'll make the next payment on the loan. So we'll repay the 10,000 for this third of the season. So it takes us down to 440,000 left to pay off for that. 
And what we need to do now is I'll go and pick up the bale trailer then we'll get over to field 47 and get our straw bales loaded up. And then we'll be done for the day. Right, so just come up to field 47. So we can get our straw bales loaded up. So what I'm thinking is next time next time we should be into early autumn. Um, not sure if our corn will be ready to harvest. Uh, but we do now have enough for a corn header which we'll need for when we do come to harvest our corn. So possibly next time we could be looking at either doing our corn if it's ready or if not looking at trying to get a contract harvesting potatoes as I did mention in one of the earlier episodes if you remember about doing the potato washer and sorter over winter and that'll give us a little bit of extra pig food and obviously a little bit of income so any excess potatoes we potentially get from a harvesting contract we could use for that So that's an option, I'm not sure what else, um, possibly could be some other contracts available, I don't think there is any corn growing on the map, I think most of the, uh, the other fields are all canola, wheat, barley, oats, uh, sort of cereal crops, so I think most of those will probably be harvested by then if they've not already been done. So we'll see uh, see what the uh, situation is. Uh, we've got these fields as well uh, that we've harvested our own fields that will need a little bit of prep work to get them ready for new crops. I think using the easy development control they all need lime now so there's that needs doing. They will need cultivating but that'll probably be a job to do in the spring if we're not planting a winter crop in them. Oh, definitely not in this field, although I think typically in the UK, canola is typically the actual first crop that's planted after a harvest. So usually canola is the first one to go in into the ground. as a winter crop. Uh, it may be different for different parts of the UK but I think for at least around the area where we are on this map canola would be planted uh, late summer, early autumn. So if I could bring up the uh, seasons menu to have a look Yeah, so they've got wheat as the the first one on here. And canola can be done from well, midsummer up until early autumn. So yeah. We could possibly get our canola planted and the barley for next year. I think canola would be better in the following corn as a crop rotation I think that gives a much better yield on the following crop than uh, barley after corn um, so we'll have a look through the crop rotation plan and kind of plan out what we're going to do so we, as we're doing pigs over the pig farm we really want to go quite heavy on the pigs so we'll be doing these three crops again so corn, barley and canola. We could possibly look at getting another field or two, some of the smaller ones, and possibly doing some crops just for cash crop, just to give us a bit of extra income next year. Or possibly look at doing a root crop, like sugar beet or potatoes. So there's got plenty of options. 
and we'll see how the uh, crop rotation plan looks on those. So these are the final two bales. So let's drop that one off. And we'll get these two picked up and loaded up. And then that'll be us all done for the day. So I'll get these back down to the yard and try and find somewhere to put them out of the way and under cover in case of any rain. And I'll get the two harvesting contracts done ready for next time. So when we come back, they should be done. We can collect the money from those. Which, so it's not a huge amount. They're only small fields. So we won't, we're not going to make thousands and thousands off them. But it, I kind of only took them out more for just for that little bit of excess crop to top up what we've got off our canola and barley fields with the uh, the loss from having the reduction in fertiliser. So let's get this hooked up and cables on. So yeah, that's us all done for the day. Hope you have enjoyed this episode and yeah, hope you've uh, enjoyed the return to the Let's Play series. I'm sure there'll probably be uh, many people that start watching this video and will be like, oh my god, he talks, like I usually get the comments because <laughs> they've not seen one of the Let's Plays because it's been yeah, quite a while since the last one. So yeah, apologies for that, but hopefully they'll be back now and here to stay. So again, if you have enjoyed it, then please don't forget to hit that like button. Really do appreciate it and it does help, although only a little, but it still helps nonetheless. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing as I've got Farm Simulator 19 videos coming all the time. Um, hopefully now with regular Let's Plays and the time lapse videos. And if you do have any questions, comments, then please do leave them in the comment section. I will try my best to answer them. I've been extremely busy over the last few months with uh, some yeah, boring real life stuff. And literally I've just had time to record and edit a video so I've not really had much time to keep mod lists updated uh, replied to comments or anything so apologies for that if you have left a comment and I've not responded but I will try and answer any questions that are left so again thank you very much for watching I'll see you all in the next one thank you again goodbye